Hi friends. Welcome back to yet another video. In this video, I would like to share, how to fix Microsoft Visual C++ 2015 redistributable setup failed error. Before we proceed further, let's check following details in your computer. Are you able to install other Windows update? Did you try restarting the PC and check? Are you using any third-party antivirus program? Make sure that the date and time are correct on the computer. Usually, this error is also caused because of the corrupted software distribution. In order to fix this issue follow the following methods. Go to search and type control panel. Open control panel. Inside program option. Open uninstall a program. Scroll down. And right click on program in order to uninstall it. Select uninstall. Click on close. Now the existing Microsoft Visual C++ 2015 redistributable package has been uninstalled. Type troubleshooting in the search bar. Select Troubleshooting. Select View All on the top left corner. Click on Windows Update. Now click on Next. Click on Try Troubleshooting as Administrator. There is no problem in this system which identified by troubleshooting. Click on close. Press Windows key plus X. Click on command prompt admin. Inside command prompt, in order to stop the Windows update service. Type net stop wu a u s e r v press enter click on search type run now open run type percent win dir percent and press ok in the open folder scroll down Rename the folder software distribution to any name. Again press Windows key plus X. Click on command prompt admin. In order to start the Windows update service, inside command prompt, type net start wu a u s e r v press enter go to search and type ms config click on system configuration select service tab Click to select the Hide All Microsoft Services checkbox. Now click, Disable All. Open Startup tab. Click, Open Task Manager. On the Startup tab in Task Manager, for each startup item, select the item and then click Disable. 
Close Task Manager. On the Startup tab of the System Configuration dialog box, tap or click OK, and then restart the computer. Use the System File Checker tool to repair missing or corrupted system files. Please refer my previous video. If you have installed any third-party security application, I would suggest you to disable and then try to install the software. After all the method has been done successfully, then again install program.